Yeah. Us yeah. of luck with that. Now, in recent years, former Hollyoaks actress Davinia Taylor has been focused on well-being following her body transformation, where she went from a size 16 to a size 8. Yeah, so her previous book, she was on the sofa about, was a Sunday Times bestseller, and now she's back with a brand new one called... Da -da 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 -da. There it is. Hack your hormones, and she's here to tell us all about it. Morning. Good morning. Thanks Good for having morning. me. Nice to see you so again. lovely to see you. And obviously, the first book was called This Is Not a Diet. Yeah. That went straight to number one. Yeah. Straight Best to number seller. one. Bestseller. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Boom. Sunday Times. <clears throat> that had to be you, really, selling that book. <laughs> I think, to be fair, it's probably the Hammond. <laughs> no, it probably was. Uh, uh, so tell um, us about Hack your, your hormones. Hack your hormones and where the idea for writing about it came from and, and how this is different, I guess, to the first book. Okay, so the first one, the first one's a great book. Basically, I sort of like go into how I count chemicals, not calories, because like if, even if you have like a certain amount of calories, they're going to be expressed in your body differently. So, for example, you have a Mars bar or an avocado, they're going to react differently in your brain chemistry. Yeah. So it's being able to make that choice. This book is not just about the menopause at all. This is about every hormone in your body that affects your kids, your husband, yourself. So I got into hormones when uh, the school rang me up and said, I think one of your sons has got suspected ADHD. He's very sort of, he's a daydreamer. He's not hyperactive, he's a yeah. daydreamer. So I was going through the list, ticking all the symptoms and I'm like, oh my God, it's me. <laughs> That's what I do. So I, and then I got myself diagnosed as ADHD because I'm not hyperactive. It's, it's a totally different sort of, it, I think it's the wrong label to be honest saying hyperactive because right. I'm not. So for example, right now I'm on live TV with you yeah. and my overriding thought is, where are the kids' passports? Do they need updating? I mean, what is that, that about? Yeah, <laughs> Matthew, where are they? Do you know, so this is how my brain thinks. That's and just it's, you. It's just how I am. And I just kind of harness it. I know that I've got a, a slight lack of dopamine. So I seek out like thrill seeking sort of like adventures and stuff. So that, that's how I propel myself through life. And I can hyper focus like I have done on the hormones. And what for me is I didn't realize that our brains are being hijacked by huge food companies yeah. who make us addicted to certain foods. So basically, you're talking about sugar food. Not just sugar, not just sugar. You see, there's a, an ingredient that we're all very familiar with called rapeseed oil. I talked about it last time and people are like, what? So rapeseed oil, sunflower oil, actually triggers addictive eating because what it is, it's a detergent. It was originally like invented to clean farmyard machinery, but it's in our food chain now and it has been since the 50s and 60s. And yeah. what it does, it strips the gut of mucus. And within that mucus, you've got little hormone receptors that tell your brain you're satisfied. So for example, if you have say a crisp, Instantly, you want more within a few seconds. Mm. It's an addictive eating. So, like so is Pringles, that our hormone, once you though? pop, you, yeah, once you pop a Pringle, you can't stop. Right. They so how does that relate? Absolutely. So, how does that relate to hormones? So, what you need to do is you need to get ahead of the craving. Yeah. So you don't have the craving in the first place. And if you do press that self-sabotage button, like I do, sometimes I go, I need a Chinese takeaway. You need to know how to sort of dampen down that sugar spike, which you get with takeaways. So, there's a brilliant supplement called berberine. It's a herb, and it's really good at lowering sort of like that blood glucose, it's getting rid of fatty liver disease as well. So it's great for type two diabetes, but it stops the craving. It stops the addictive eating and the binge eating. But this for the most part then is about eating foods that are less processed and more natural. Correct. Yeah, but if you've got a craving, what are you meant to do? Because I'm sorry, once you've got that idea in your head that you're going to have a takeaway, nothing is going to stop That's you. And very your brain true. has been hijacked. And I need something that instantly works. I can't do like weight loss that takes six months. I want it now, <laughs> otherwise forget it. I'm not interested. <laughs> I've moved on. I'm like that. Hyper focused, you say? Hyper focused. <laughs> yes, I want to do it now. But well, I'm exercise like that. is a good way as well. You've, yeah. you've chose running as your release, and that really helps as well. Which is it? weird because when I was like in that before picture, you can see I'm inflamed. It wasn't just my body that was inflamed. I had tons of like water and fat retention. My brain was inflamed. So if I like, went to Sainsbury's or Tesco and there wasn't a space right next to the door, I'd be really annoyed and I'd like, oh, I'll go home. <laughs> but now I can run a marathon like that without even bothering to prepare because I'm super fit. And that is just from hacking into my brain chemistry. Yeah. Because that's what, all movement begins in the brain, whether you're gonna to walk to the fridge to get some snack, or you're gonna put your trainers on and take the dog for a walk. Yeah. That decision is made in your brain. If you can hack into your brain, you've got a fighting chance to have an amazing day. How do you year. hack into your brain? Like, so 
Give us some tips. Okay, Give us some, so, some hacking okay, tips. Okay, so uh, one that's really easy. So in the morning, you take your sunglasses off. On a sunny day like today, what you're doing is you're getting the daylight into your eyes as early to morning as possible. This releases cortisol. So which, don't use your sunglasses. Don't use your sunglasses because it's telling the brain that it's evening time. So what it's, it, it signals the brain, the eyes are connected to the brain and it sends a message of what time of day it is. So in the morning, you want cortisol. Yeah. Cortisol gets a bad rep. It's not actually just all about stress. It's about movement. It gets you up and when say at seven in the morning you have that sort of spike of cortisol you get up you do the kids you do the school run you go to work 12 hours later your body knows to release melatonin the sleep it's hormone sack. so you can go to sleep properly right. and if you you're regulating your sleep that's a you're regulating thing your sleep so for example i have this thing about like going on my phone at 10 o'clock at night looking at cats oh, i do that stuff. i mean it's like you're like this you know okay. so what you're doing from that light from your phone it's a blue light so it's mm. saying it's morning so you can pick up blue blocking glasses off amazon for like 10 quid and it'll stop that blue light so you will sleep you'll have a deeper sleep and you'll oh, wake right. up in the morning better just little hacks like that that's hacking your brain i like the cold showers i do right i yes. get into those in the morning i have oh, a cold yeah, shower that, and I, I can do it like 20 seconds that's fine, 20 but seconds I've got max but it changes you. your mind it does because that's dopamine dopamine is your motivation oh, i love a bit of dopamine that. but a tip for you don't do it every day yeah. because your body will dopamine is a double-edged sword because you can get used to something so flip a coin Heads, you do the cold. Tails, you don't. Oh, so not keep every your, day. No, keep the body guessing. We're it's always team. about surprise. Heads, I go in the shower. Tails, you do bath, and we just yeah, do it in the morning. Definitely. Together. Well, Very listen, good. this is amazing. Hack your hormones. That is the book, Davinia Taylor. It's out now. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Thanks for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Stuart.